hello and welcome back to my channel. So something kind of crazy has been going on with me lately. I have been on such a massive cleaning kick that Ryan actually thinks that something is wrong with me. Are you cleaning right now? It's like two in the morning. Go back to bed. My cleaning kick is to your benefit because today I'm going to share with you the best, latest, greatest viral cleaning hacks from the TikTok cleaning queens. And most of these people are professional housekeepers and they share the best cleaning tips that actually work. So I will link down below all of the TikTokers where these tips came from. And if you are new here and you enjoy cleaning, organization, home hacks, make sure you are following me, press that red subscribe button. And with all of that said, let's go ahead and get started with this first one that really caught my eye because you can make your own toilet bomb. Think of it as like a lush bath bomb but for your toilet. Throw that in your toilet and it will basically clean itself with some nice fizzy action. This is from Neat Caroline and she says you just have to mix one part citric acid, one part baking soda, add a little water, pack it into one of these silicone ice cube trays, allow it to dry overnight, pop those babies out, and you have your own toilet cleaning bombs. I love that these are all natural and it works and so incredibly easy to make. Speaking of toilets, if you didn't know, now you know, you wanna switch over to a silicone toilet cleaning brush. So silicone is far more bacteria resistant. So here's what you wanna do. Throw in your toilet balm, let that sizzle up a little. Clean up in there. When you're done, get some spray hydrogen peroxide, spray off your toilet brush and then put it between the seat and the lid and let it hang, let it air dry. And then a few hours later, you can put it back into its little holder. This will keep it nice and fresh and sanitary. This next one is from the hack guy on TikTok. He's really excited about cleaning hacks if you've seen him before. But what he says is the best hack for cleaning your faucets and fixtures is to use a fresh lemon. Just cut it in half and rub that directly on the faucet and it will get off all of those hard water stains, 100% natural. So I don't know why, I had never heard this, I had never thought to do this, I think it is genius. And when I tried it, let me tell you, it worked. My faucets, they were sparkly. While we're in the bathroom, another cleaning hack for in here, this one is from Carolina McCauley. If you want to keep your mirrors nice and clean and prevent them from fogging, she says after you clean your mirror, get any type of shaving cream, rub it all over the mirror, then get your squeegee, wipe it off. This is a miracle trick that will prevent your mirror from fogging up for one to two weeks at a time. What kind of sorcery is this? I don't know, that, that gets me excited. This is a product that is going completely viral. I had no idea this existed. It is a mold and mildew cleaner. So if you have those really dark grout lines, sometimes it's not just dirt, it's actual mold. But this paste will get rid of it. You just put it along those mildew lines, let it sit overnight, rub it right off. I am pretty darn excited about this because we have had this mildew line around our kitchen faucet for way too long. And now just like that, it's gone. Another viral cleaning hack that I thought was so clever from Carolina McCauley, she's a housekeeper, to clean your sliding door tracks and your window tracks is to get a toilet paper roll, put it on the end of your vacuum tube and kind of squeeze it in half and it becomes the perfect size and shape to fit between the grooves in those little tracks, which if you haven't looked at them lately, chances are they're pretty nasty. The TikTok cleaning queen, Vanessa, she's actually a friend of mine. She has this cleaning solution that you spray and it helps repel and prevent dust from building up. All you have to do is make an easy DIY cleaning solution. Water, a tablespoon of dish soap, three tablespoons of distilled white vinegar, and one tablespoon of olive oil. Shake that up, mix it together, and then you can spray and wipe down your surfaces, and it's going to help prevent dust from accumulating. Another trick that Vanessa swears by is using lint rollers to dust off your lampshades. Most of us have those hanging around the house anyway, so just use that and do a quick little swipe around your lampshades, 
and you can do that on your drapes to clean off any dust from your drapes. Neat Caroline talks about putting essential oils on cotton balls and putting that at the bottom of all of your trash cans. And I, for years, have put essential oils on the bottom of my trash can, but I never thought for some reason to put them on cotton balls, and that's just gonna make it last longer. And if you're not already doing this, it's really smart to keep your extra trash bags in the bottom of your trash can. Could not be faster and easier to replace that trash bag. This little cleaning trick went viral on TikTok and it spoke my language, okay? And the trick is to make your bed while you're still in the bed. And I know it kind of sounds ridiculous, but I tried it this morning and it's good. So you're still in bed, pull the covers up, kind of start to smooth it out, arrange your pillows, then you can slink out of bed, kind of smooth it down, then I put on my accent pillows, and it's so much easier and faster to do it this way. What the? Anyone else who deals with the problem of getting your hair stuck in the drain, long hair problems, women problems, postpartum problems, these little drain starfish are all over TikTok. Pop them right on top of your shower drain and it has the little holes in it so any hair is gonna get caught on top and not go into your drain causing a big nightmare. They also have these stick on disposable version of this as well. I prefer the reusable, but if you just wanna toss it when you're done, they have those as well. The outdoor window cleaner, I actually showed this in a video a few weeks ago, has taken over TikTok. And I did want to show it to you again because as I've been using it more, I have some little tips. So what this is, is it is your outdoor window cleaner that attaches right onto your hose. Could not be easier. And it makes it so fast and efficient to clean even high up outdoor windows. First you put it onto the cleaning solution setting and it will spray the cleaning solution onto your window. Then you switch the dial over to water and you dry it off and it will dry streak free. But what I learned with this, if you don't completely wash off the cleaning solution, it will streak. So make sure you spend extra time with just the water after, ensuring that all of that cleaning solution is off of the window so you don't have any streaks. For all of those hard to clean little cracks and crevices around the house, like around your stove top, in your headphones, what you can do, very simple, get a toothpick, get a paper towel, Wrap it around and there you go. You can get in all those little hard to reach spots. And for your headphones in particular, you can just dip this in some isopropyl rubbing alcohol and then clean all the little grooves and crevices in your headphones, just making sure not to wet the actual speaker part itself. I feel like by this point, most people know this, but to avoid using fabric softener wherever possible, it puts a waxy buildup specifically and most importantly on your towels. And over time, they actually become harder and they repel water. It's also not great for your washing machine. So instead of using fabric softener, all you need to do is put half a cup of vinegar in. I promise you, your towels will not smell like vinegar, and that is nature's fabric softener. This last cleaning hack is stalking me. I keep seeing it everywhere, and I'm really skeptical. Does it actually work? So I'm gonna test it out with you here live. This is primetime entertainment, people. Apparently, what you can do is make your own at-home upholstery cleaner by putting a dishwasher pod in boiling hot water, letting that melt down, then getting a lid, a saucepan lid, wrapping a microfiber towel around that, and then rubbing it up and down on your rug, on your upholstery, on your couch. Apparently, it cleans it really well. I have a hard time imagining that this could work as well. So here is my assessment, okay? You can see it's the edge of the lid that's really getting in there and picking up the stains, and then the middle, since it's slightly elevated, isn't even touching the surface. So this, for me, is a no. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you are subscribed and please turn on that bell notification so that way you are notified every time I post a new video. And with all of that said, thank you as always so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye.